Hi, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvellously well. Um, I've just purchased, purchased, paid for with money, um, Pro Tools Express. Now, Pro Tools is about to release a, a free version, so we're going to review that as well. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for that to come out, we got Pro Tools Express. This at the moment is the cheapest, uh, most inexpensive uh, way that you can get Pro Tools. So we thought we'd uh, try it out and see how it works. It's still brand new in a box. Yep. But anyway, um, please go to um, producelikeapro.com and you can subscribe to the email list there and you'll get loads of free videos. Um, there's a couple of free songs on there you can download. Also, um, some files to edit. Um, there's, ex there's expanded versions of drum recording and piano recording on there as well. And you can also enter lots and lots of upcoming competitions to win gear etc that we'll be giving away so here it is here's a fast track solo let's open it up dun, dun, dun. warning before you power on fast track solo slash duo make sure you are connect any connected amplifiers or powered monitors powered monitors are turned off or muted okay we're not plugged into anything okay here is the uh, the hardware here. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, it is quite straightforward looking. Okay, so here's the mic input. This looks like the DI slash line input. Um, this would be the gain control for the mic, and this I believe is the gain control for the DI, the line input. Um, I imagine this is a green and red light to show level. Um, obviously if you hit that one continuously then you're probably distorting the preamp. Um, there's a main output volume control here which obviously goes to headphones and, of, and probably, yes, RCA outputs on the back here. You can obviously get various different powered speakers. Um, we have these little Genelex here, um, which take RCA inputs, no doubt. They're actually quite expensive, so I don't know if they'd be your first ones you would get, but there's plenty of little powered speakers like this on the market. However, as we explained before, if this is your first system and you're spending about $100, which I think this is, um, then obviously, Headphones is the way to go to at least start off on. I wouldn't work exclusively on, head, exclusively on headphones, but let's be honest, when you're trying to get started, like I did, I had a four-track cassette and a pair of headphones. And then I figured out a way of connecting my, my four-track cassette to my parents' stereo system. So, um, you know, um, what's my mother say? Beggars can't be choosers. We, we need to start off and get going in the easiest possible way. So I would obviously use headphones here. Um, and then there's a direct monitor select. Now, what that that'd be pretty cool if you're uh, if you're the if you set this up so you're the singer, you're the acoustic guitar player, you're the keyboard player, whatever. You're doing everything on your own. Um, you can hit this button in, and you'll be able to directly monitor the signal come out. You're probably hearing the blend that's in there. That seems relatively straightforward. On the back, there's a phantom control, which is nice that you can turn it on or off because if you had a a ribbon mic you wouldn't want to send phantom as you might destroy it um it's a usb and a tablet output so that's cool so you could connect this to your ipad um or your whatever tablet you have and then obviously this is to go into the laptop so pretty straightforward i don't see any uh, anything there that would confuse um looks like next off in the box is instructions of course and then Two cables, one to go to a tablet, go into the uh, the bottom of what looks like version one of the iPad, not the latest one, which has the mini one. So I'm sure they make a cable for that, let's hope. And this, of course, is the USB cable to go into our laptop here. Cool. Silica gel, instructions. Ah. This is what we'll need, an iLock. Just going to have our plugins, 
whatever comes with that is going to have the authorization for the plugins and of course for the Pro Tools software. Let's uh, open up our instructions and have a look and see what we've got in here. There it is. Pro Tools Express activation card. So this is our um, code so we can download and activate everything. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's go to avid.com slash activation card. Okay, so let us select Pro Tools here. Click, did he click? And here is Avid's step-by-step -step guide to downloading and activating Pro Tools. So let's click create an account. So step one, we're going to visit the iLock.com and sign up for a free account. I already have an account set up, but I'll show you how to create one. Uh, click create free account, and we're going to fill out the basic information here. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, we're going to go back here and go to the Avid Guide. And we're going to download the iLock License Manager. Okay, it says you get a 404 page not found, but uh, here's another link here. And this will take us to the download page. Here there are different operating system options. We're on a Mac, so we're going to download that one. But obviously, if you've got uh, Windows, either Vista 32-bit or 64-bit, and or, you know, Windows 7 or 8, you're going to download it there. Okay, so let's go back to the guide. We're going to create an Avid Master account. Uh, once again, we already have one of these, um, but I'll show you what it looks like here. It's the first name, last name, um, country, email, password, very straightforward stuff. Okay, so let's go to section two. Then we're going to activate and download. So we're going to visit avid.com slash activation. And we're going to enter our activation card provided on the back of activation card number on the back of the activation card. Uh, for this, you'll be logged in. You'll have to be logged into your Avid account. So here's the activation code. We're entering it. And we're going to hit download now. And then you'll be prompted to enter your iLock user ID. Okay, so now we're on our My Products here. Um, on our page, click on Pro Tools Express. Um, yeah, you're going to see all the products that you've got um, registered to your Average Master account. Obviously, you can see I have lots, but... If this is your first one, of course, you're going to select Pro Tools Express. It will show you the available downloads. There are all kinds of different installers for Mac and Windows and virtual instruments. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download that one. While that's downloading, I'm going to install the iLock license support that we downloaded earlier. Okay, so we're opening the installer and we're double clicking the license support package. We continue. I'm going to agree to all of this. Okay, now it's installing 178 megabytes. Put your uh, passcode in there when I remember it. And now it's writing the files onto the computer. Okay, now that's installed, uh, we can go ahead and install Pro Tools. So I'll launch the installer. Double click and install Pro Tools Express. So just go through all of the agreement stuff again. There we go. 
This one's significantly larger. Let's try to remember the password. Yay! Continue installation. See, it says you must restart your computer afterwards. Let's close down Safari or whatever else was open. If, you, if you've got other things open, it will close it down. Okay, so we've restarted after installation. Uh, you can see the Pro Tools icon in the dock now. I'm going to go back and to the guide at avid.com slash activation card. We've done step four, so we've installed both programs. So now we are, we're down to step five. Oh, so we've done step five, sorry. Step six, download and install the drivers for your audio interface. With the Avid Fast Track solo on a Mac, it doesn't require any drivers. But other interfaces such as the Mbox will require, require downloading further drivers, which you can do here. Okay, there's USB devices, Fast Track solo, Um, and there's, there it says there's no drivers required. Nicely done. Okay, now we need to activate our, activate our iLock using the license manager. Uh, which will be in our applications now because we installed that right here. We need to sign in using our user ID that we created in step one. So let's sign in here. Um, okay, so insert your new iLock. Um, okay, it says, would you like to register your account? Yes, let's register it. Great. It is registered now. Click on your username to see your licenses. As you can see, I have a lot on my account, um, but you'll probably only have the Pro Tools Express listed in yours. Um, select Pro Tools Express. Click and show details and click Activated. Uh, this is the iLock that you've inserted. Select that and click Activate. Okay, great. So now we're done with that. That was step eight. One successfully activated license. Yay. Okay, um, let's go to step nine. It says your software is now authorized on your active iLock. So we're going to launch Pro Tools. Make sure that you plug the Fast Track Solo into your USB port before opening. Pro Tools at, um, Express requires the interface to be connected in order to run. Okay, so we're just going to create a blank session here. Let's just call it uh, test. Open it up. And there we have it. A nice session for us to start making rock and roll history on. Great, so that's how you install Pro Tools Express. Um, when the new free one is officially launched, that they, they announced at NAM, we're going to do that one as well. If you have any questions, please leave them below. As ever, I love communicating with you, uh, with everybody. I learn so much more from you than pretty, pretty much you learn from me, quite frankly. So go to producelikeapro.com. Um, sign up there. You're going to get a whole bunch of free stuff. Um, please enter our competitions to win, you know, even more stuff that's coming up. Um, 
Really appreciate everybody uh, watching and uh, um, subscribe. Thank you ever so much.